Jeez, why do you hear this? <sighs> okay, Johnny. I know this is strange, but, uh... this I think about the time I found you in a photograph when the rain came and I lost my brain oh that's incredibly romantic then you come up with something better What are you doing? Coming up with something better? That's not what I meant. Give me a break, huh? You've been thinking about me too. Jesse, you're crazy. Maybe. But that doesn't change what's going on between us. There's nothing going on between us, all right? I've got to go meet Daisy. Hey, Mara. The music's fresh. And I meant what I said. Okay, John. I've got some good news, and I've got some weird news. <sighs> when you hear this, you're just gonna... What do you think? I think it needs more kick drum. We'll give the lady what she wants. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. So how do you know so much about hip hop? I sing lead in a band. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Have I ever heard you sing? Not yet. We're just putting it together. But it's just a matter of time before you do. Well, you know, I've always taken interest in Young talent. You know, maybe we should talk about it over dinner. <laughs> so are you gonna tell me what's going on? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Jesse. I mean, who is he? Where does he come from? Do you know anything about the guy besides the fact that he's cute? Just that he's got an ego the size of an elephant. I don't think he's my type. <laughs> Keep saying it. After a while, you might even believe it. Beautiful, isn't it? So you really think Jesse's cute, huh? Remember when we were kids? Yeah, you were gonna marry Donnie Fitzpatrick. <laughs> I wonder if he ever got out of jail. Mary. Eric and I are getting married on the weekend. <laughs> You're right. No, I'm serious. He really asked me. The wedding's on Saturday. How could you not tell me? I wasn't sure how you'd react. Well, it is kind of a shock. I know it's sudden. But I haven't got any family and just a couple of close friends. You think it's too soon? No, not if you don't. <laughs> Good. He brought it up over dinner, and before we had dessert... I almost forgot. Will you be my maid of honor? Of course I will. <laughs> Have you told Johnny yet? About a thousand times. In front of the mirror.
You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just asking, cause... Look, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I just don't like to talk about Billy Kay. Me too. Besides, you punch the bag when you're upset about him. You lift when you're lonely. Do I? Mm-hmm. And don't go blowing my theory out the water, yeah? There's no such thing as lonely. Lonely is if you want to be around people. I don't. You gotta carry them. They only get in the way. Only the strong survive. I fight to take care of myself. So I'm not lonely. I'm just alone. Listen, we've got to talk. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. It's got to do with Eric. What, did you finally smarten up and dump him? No. He really loves me, Johnny. Well, is that all you wanted to tell me? No. I wanted to tell you, uh, Eric and I... We're getting married. Are you going to say anything? What is it that you want from me? I don't know. Maybe congratulations. No, sorry. I wish I could. What is your problem? What's my problem? Well, geez, you know, yesterday you can't figure out what socks to wear. Now you're jumping on some guy that you barely know. Look, if you want me to be happy, I'm really happy for you. Congratulations. I've got to go. I don't know. Look, let's just try it again, okay? One, two, three, and... problem I don't know something's not right tell me about it what's he doing here hey you want me up I'm gone then go we don't need you or Billy Kay around here Mary lay off him okay so what's wrong with the tune it's your keyboard I mean you're playing way too loud <laughs> you're full of it no you're playing I'm listening okay hey maybe you guys gotta move on try something new we'll handle it thanks He's right, we practiced this song enough. Well, come on, let's just try it one more time. All right, without Daisy on keyboards this time. Listen, I got better things to do than sit around here and listen to you argue. We all do. Let's call it a day. Yeah, maybe that'll give us enough time to get engaged. What this band needs is a break. Right. Well, maybe ours has arrived. Share with class. I met Double R Reynolds. The Double R Reynolds? Yeah. He's getting a record at the studio and he wants to hear us play. When? I don't know. He wants to have dinner first. Huh. I get the feeling he's looking for more than just hearing us play. Hey, guys, it's a chance. Give him a tape and see what he thinks. I don't know. Do you think Double R's hormones can hold out for another night? Oh. 
So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I just have to get outside. Looking good. Nice job. Hey, did you ever think about Mom? Sometimes. Yeah, you never talk about her. Talking won't bring her back. Yeah, you know, not talking about her won't either. But the world's no song. I don't always have a happy ending. Your mom left us. She's not coming back. Life is here and now, not what was. I can't... I won't live like that. I suggest you follow my way, get back to work, and forget about her. What is work all you can think about? I got to. Because you don't. You just don't get it, do you? I don't need your charity. Well, go on out there on your own, rock star. You don't want to live by my rules, live by your own, but do it someplace else. Ladies, it's enough for me to go around. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> All right, you good, hey, double R, man. Yeah. It's just the entrance. That's great, man. You want an autograph? No, no, I'm in a band. I want you to listen. Look, to Mr. This. Reynolds is signing he's... autographs. Okay, he's not working. Oh, he's not You don't have to leave the hotel. Mr. Reynolds pays for privacy, and we don't allow loitering. You put them. Well, maybe you can come back when you got legs like them. Look, I don't care how big Les James is, man. I got to get some sleep. Uh-huh. Room service. Well, he's just some lousy record spinner, man. Let him bump me. How much could I lose? All right. I didn't order any. It's great stuff. I mean it, just give it a listen. Look, I don't got time for this, man. Hey, man, I heard you have to have new bands. Nobody's ever heard this tune. Nobody, I swear it. Just watch the suit. Well, if I didn't do it, how'd the jerk get the song? Don't look at me. Sierra, you see him every day. And Jesus even had dinner with him. No, I didn't. You told me to hold off, remember? Yeah, well, maybe you went and did it anyways. Are you calling me a liar? Hey, look, nobody's calling anybody anything, OK? Well, somebody did it. What about Atlas? I told you, Alice is cool. You just chill out. Well, somebody did it. Relax, OK? This isn't solving anything. Hey, what's up? You better listen to this. I taped it today. All right, this is Les James back with Double R Reynolds. So you're in the studio again, cutting some tracks. Yeah, yeah, me and the team are working on some dope tunes, man. Listen, check this out. The city streets can really get you down, but every time you smile, it makes me feel like holding That's our on. song. Not anymore, it's not. Double R stole it. Look, I want to know who gave the scumball the song, and I want to know now. going to record company. I mean, we can't let Reynolds get away with this. Honestly, Mary, who do you think they're gonna believe? Five punk kids off the street are one of the biggest acts in hip hop. We screw with this guy and there won't be a record company that'll touch us. Listen, I wanna talk about what happened this morning. Jesse, it's not that I don't like you. That means you do? It means I don't know what I want. I mean, I don't know anything about you. I'm talking about us here. You and me. Well, I can't deal with us right now. I want to get our song back. I think I stole your song. You were at the loft. You heard it. Did Johnny send you here? I'm here on my own. You can stay here, because I'm out of here. Ask me, this is a bad idea. Well, I'm gonna confront him. Somebody's gotta do it. We don't even know if he's still staying here. Then we'll ask and wait. 
They can't kick us out for just standing here. Can I help you? How can you kick us out for just standing there? Johnny, I'm going to ask you one last time. Come to my wedding. Why? I mean, if you're so in love, what does it matter? Because you mean a lot to me. And you're just as important as anybody who's going to be there. Except for Eric. Why do you hate him? I don't. I don't, Daisy. I just don't think that you love him. You've got no idea what goes on inside my head. You think that Eric is your chance to get out of here. Your chance not to be alone. You're wrong, Johnny. Am I? I mean, am I, Daisy? You're making the biggest decision of your life. And you're just rushing through it. You've got no idea what it's like to be alone. God, you've got your family. You're the one who's afraid to get out there on your own. One day, you're getting smiling faces for keeping the crayons between the lines. The next, Someone's asking you, what are you going to do for the rest of your life? Hell, I'm 20 years old. What do I want? I want it all. And I'm going to get it. How come I hate your ideas more and more? Because you have no sense of adventure. My sense of adventure is fine. It's my Come fear on. of prison. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Maybe you should just go. You know, because, well, you're a woman. A woman? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe you can reason with them. All right, that's it. Or we can discuss that later. So what are we going to do till the Terminator splits? Plus Toast not getting killed. Hmm? <laughs> Answer our call, nameless one. Answer and be sure. You need sure. up your mind? Staying or leaving? I didn't mean to scare you. 
I just wasn't expecting you there. What are you doing walking this neighborhood this time of night? I can take care of myself. Well, then you can walk me home. Ooh. I've got to apologize to you. For what? For being scared. What are you scared of? Of you. Of the way you look. The way you are. The way you make me feel. How's that? You know, I'm happy. Oh, that's a good thing. It's a scary thing. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it kind of scare me some, too. Really? Yeah. Really? Anybody ever tell you talk too much? So I've gone from Will You Marry Me to the altar in a couple of weeks. Doesn't say much for long engagements. <laughs> hey, Atlas. Thanks for listening. Not a problem. Mm. This is gonna sound silly, but there's something I want you to do for me. What do you want? I want you to give me away at my wedding. You what? <laughs> Somebody's gotta do it. I don't know. I've got no father, Atlas, and I've got no family. What about Johnny? Yes or no? I'd be proud to. <laughs> I don't have to give no facts life talk, do I? No. I figured I'd get somebody who knew what they were talking about. Where have you been? Just walking around. I don't want you going out this late at night. Fine. I just needed some air. Well, just think about me. We're getting married in a couple of days, and I think I've got a right to know where you are. Jesse, we can't. Sure we can. I know we can, but it's just I don't want to. What's wrong? It's just... It's just I've never done this before. What? You don't have to make it seem like I'm some sort of freak. I, I didn't mean it like that. It's just I'm not... Ready yet? Hey, it's okay. <laughs> Did we forget anything? No, I don't think so. Oh, what about these? <laughs> <laughs> you were rushing me. I always figured you for briefs. <laughs> no chance. Let me get you out of here. Okay. Mary. Forget it. Beautiful. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. There you go. 
to excuse us. Not until I talk to Mr. Reynolds first. Well, just give me your name. We'll give you an autograph. I don't picture. want a picture of the people. I want my song back. Double R Reynolds never stole nothing in his life. I knew I'd seen you somewhere before. You're like some damn virus I can't get rid of, ain't you? Do you know each other? Look, get these two losers out of my sight and don't come back. Tired of these sorry ass butts. I said I was sorry. What else do you want? I was gonna sleep with you. I thought I could trust you. What was I supposed to do? You went ballistic when you heard Reynolds on the radio. You should have told me what you did. You owed that much to me. Maybe. But if I said something, we wouldn't have had tonight. Come on. Talk to me. What if cars were like men? Turn the wheel to the right, they go left. Put them into drive, they go in reverse. Just once, I'd like to find a man who I could trust. Someone who would be there for me. Someone who could help me get to where I'm going. It wasn't like I cried myself to sleep. I mean, I knew all along I couldn't trust him. Why do guys have to be such jerks? I don't know. It's like Eric. He keeps pushing and pushing and pushing. Do you think they're born the way, or do they develop their jerk tendencies? I want this. I want that. But you know what they really want. What do you want? I don't know. Just to be happy, I guess. Yeah, well, all I know is I'm not going to let Jesse bother me. Hey, Daisy. How's it going? All right. Oh. Since when have we started using 75 Ford carbs on 82 Chevys? <laughs> Nothing's bothering you, huh? <laughs> so where's Reynolds now? I told you I don't know. Then when's he coming back? Would you listen to me? Stay away from him. He's bad news. You gotta do something. No, you don't. Jesse, he could really hurt you. Come on, Sierra. Eventually, he has to listen to reason. The only thing the double R Reynolds listens to is his sex drive. <sighs> Mary's never going to forgive me if I don't get that song back. He's going to what? Doesn't he know what'll happen? Thanks, Sierra. amazing. What are you doing here? I need your help. You need my help? There's a new guy in the band and he's in a lot of trouble. So? He's the one who gave Reynolds the song. And he's gone after him to get it back. It's not my problem. He's gonna get hurt. Alice, he doesn't realize what he's gotten himself into. Please just go to the studio and see if he's all right. I'm busy. Atlas. You got some nerve coming here. I shouldn't have accused you of stealing the song. This is not about some dumb song, Mary. It's about you. How you sit back and judge all the time. Just because you got mommy and daddy to tuck you in. That is not fair, Atlas. You don't know nothing. 
I do what I do to get out. You don't like it, so what? Please, Atlas. Get out of my face. Now. You are like some nasty shadow. We need to talk. No, you need to book your butt out of here. Now, there's two ways you can go. Conscious or unconscious. <laughs> Wasn't worth it, boy. So you playing in the big leagues now. Settle for a doctor? That was my next request. I'm glad to see you had the good sense to drop them homies. <laughs> Cause I could take you places they only dreamed about. Mm, them. They were losers. Mm -hmm. They'll never get their acts together. Besides, I can't get where I want if I don't have the means to get there. Right? Damn. You are fly. <laughs> Is Jesse okay? He broke a rib. I didn't have to live. I don't know how to thank you, Atlas. Just take care of him. I had to go see my aunt. Hey, Atlas. We've missed you. so good. Yeah, you should have seen the other guys. <laughs> Alice told me their fists really took a pounding. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry I made you do this. You didn't make me do anything. I really like you, Jesse. But I won't be lied to. Because I've been lied to too many times before. Mary, there's something I have to tell you. I'm not who I said I was. My real name's Andrew Joseph Carlson. Maybe you've heard of my father, Stanley Carlson. He's worth about... Let's just say he can pay the rent. I thought you said your dad was dead. I wish he was dead. When's the lying stop, Jesse? I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Screw you. Wait a sec. Jesse, save it. If you'll just listen for a sec. You haven't heard a word I've said. What do we gotta do? Show you my tax returns? Don't show me anything. Don't call and don't write. Oh, hell. So, you hate my guts? No, I don't hate you. It's just time I went out of my own figured things out for myself. Yeah, well, uh, 
I guess I moved out when I was your age. Best thing I ever did. Hardest thing, too. Yeah, well, I'll be all right. Where are you gonna go? I was thinking the loft, actually. I spend most of my time there anyway. You know, I went by there last week, listening to you guys play. Yeah, what'd you think? I don't know. Girls look good. No, the music. How'd we sound? Sounded great. Do you really think so? Yeah. Look, I'm no record company. I still think you ought to ground yourself in something real, you know, something based on more than just a dream. Dad, what... Okay, what if a dream is all you've got? Hey, Dad, um... I'm gonna have to be paying rent and stuff. I, I was wondering, you know, if I could come out and work on the boat sometime. We start out at 6 a.m. just like we did yesterday and the day before that. Johnny's not coming, is he? Mary. I gotta talk to you about something. It can wait. You're the one who deserves the apology. Hold on. No, I, I had no to... right to accuse you. I've been blaming the wrong people for a lot lately. But I have some. No buts. I mean, I chew you out and Jesse just lies to me like there's no tomorrow. What are you talking about? You won't believe this. All I ask is that he tells me the truth, and then he makes up some trash story about his dad being some rich socialite. He was lying. Wasn't he? You know, why don't you just move out of that flea bag hotel? I mean, you could live here, right in the lap of luxury. Oh, nobody's gonna confuse us with Club Med. Yeah, but I mean, you gotta admit, it's a hell of a deal. Unless you got somewhere else to stay. It's a joke. So then what do you say? Uh, L, why not? Cool. So, why'd you move out of your house anyway? You know, I just, I love my dad, you know, I just can't live with him. What about you? I hate my dad. I've got to learn to live without him. What time is it? Yo, the Red Rock. I'll be down in a minute. <sighs> Daisy don't look so good, man. Is she gonna be okay? I'm glad you're here. Who gives this woman away? I do. We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond between man and woman and before God is an everlasting one. A decision made with careful thought. For if one is to spend the rest of one's life with another person, one must take into account all those who are around him and her. Does anyone have a reason why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony?
It's not your fault, I swear. Are you sure this is what you want to do? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Exactly dressed for it. I guess I owe you an apology. It's cool. You must really think I'm a jerk. <laughs> no. Has anyone ever told you you talk too much? dinner with Double R last night. Ooh. After he beat up Jesse? Yeah. He gave us back our song. What? Get out. Why? It's all right here. Um, this isn't our tape. No. It's one that Double R made with me. One that he wouldn't want his wife to get a hold of. Ah. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> you see, we made a deal. He don't play our tape and we won't play his. You mean we're blackmailing him? Blackmailing's such a harsh word, Johnny. We came to an understanding. Well, you didn't have to sleep with that sleaze? Please. That's cool. No, what's cool is what's on that tape. Sorry, a deal's a deal. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. Somebody's gonna get buried in this in the morning. I'm hands. Thanks. Yeah, I'll see you around. How about tomorrow night at 7? For what? Well, I've seen you dance and I've heard you rap. Why don't you become a part of what we're doing? I don't think so. You guys don't play my kind of music. No, wait, wait. It would be so cool. I mean, we'll make it part of our sound. Come on! Yeah, right on. <laughs> yeah! Yes! The city streets can really get you down But every time you smile It makes me feel like holding on Holding you, holding you. Every time I Too much sun. Wouldn't even call she was 911. Mary, Mary! 